from Boston, Massachusetts, it's theCUBE, covering WTG Transform 2018. Brought to you by Winslow Technology Group. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman, and this is theCUBE's cover of WTG Transform 2018. Happy to welcome to the program the keynote speaker and first time on the program, David Singer, who's the Senior Vice President and Chief Operating Officer of Storage at Dell EMC. David, great to see you. Great to see you, Stu. Thanks for having me. All right, so uh, I, I liked, we talked a lot about transformation, and boy, there, there's a lot of transformations going on from the technology to the workforce, uh, you know, security's top of mind item. Uh, you know, let, 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 let's start there. Uh, you know, what, what, what is, what does transformation mean in the, with the customers that you're talking to these days? Transformation for our customers is delivering next generation business outcomes, really ensuring that they could find a way to, to remold their businesses for the digital economy and figure out how to drive tremendous amounts of value. And they understand that it all starts with IT and being digital. And so it's one of the key things that we hear from our customers as they, as they engage with us and look to move forward. Yeah, it, it's an interesting conversation because uh, there's, there's two things that have kind of struck me as a little bit funny lately. Uh, number one is, well, data's really important, and, and two, wow, intelligence is really going to transform all of these environments, and the reason I, I think you, you kind of agree with me, we've been talking about these things for decades. I mean, you know, you and I <laughs> both started back at EMC back similar times um, when storing was really the, one of the main things you're doing, uh, right. but of course that data was very important. Uh, in the eight years since I left EMC, boy, you know, it's not like storage isn't any less important, but, you know, it's data and it's everywhere and it's just yeah. Distributed, um, so maybe we speak a little bit to you know the the value of data to your mm -hmm. customers, and uh, let, we'll we'll keep going with that yeah, conversation. Data is the next asset class, you know, and, and, and for our customers, it should be their gold. It's it's not how they just manage their business; it's actually how they start making money. Um, we called ourselves a storage business, and we probably did ourselves a disservice. They they want to engage, and they want to ensure their data is safe, and they want to figure out how to monetize it. And monetizing it means retaining it, moving it, keeping it safe. Uh, and then ensuring that you can inject it into the right applications and get the right, the right knowledge and efficiency out of it. And what we've seen in the storage industry over 18 years is that the technologies keep changing. Applications have greater and greater demands. There's more and more need to consume, adjust, and analyze this data. Uh, and we need to keep up and we need to deliver more intelligent infrastructure and storage solutions that can move this data and help us help applications deliver uh, tremendous performance. Yeah, let, let's talk about the, the company itself. So when I think about Dell, um, you know, I, I, I think back, you know, when, when I even talk to my parents, you know, they know who Dell is. They, they'd use Dell computers for many years. Over your shoulder is Fenway Park. You know, the club level is, is the Dell level. Um, you know, you've got such a broad portfolio. In your keynote, you kind of put together this, you know, comprehensive everything from Dell and Dell EMC and VMware and Pivotal and everything. Uh, but uh, to, to, you know, the, the global companies or small companies, what is, you know, where, where does Dell sit in the picture? I think, I think the, the merger has been a major transformation for the company itself. We talk, we evangelize transformations for other companies. We're undergoing one ourselves. And, and the transformation we're undergoing is understanding what other companies needs and applying it uh, to ourselves and drinking our own champagne and making it a reality. Uh, the, the, the brand association is changing and, and customers are starting to realize that we can become the essential infrastructure provider and they can look to us uh, to solve a holistic set of their needs as opposed to pinpoint set of their needs and make it an easier journey on themselves. Yeah, um, you spent a bunch of time talking about the operating model. When we talk about cloud, it's, uh, you know, use the line actually we've used many times. Uh, you know, cloud is not a destination, really is a, a, an operating model. Sure. Um, how does that impact uh, the portfolio? Uh, you know, you're helping to put together really the long-term strategy. Sure. What, what, what does that mean? Uh, so the first is the operating model uh, is all about simplicity, right? We need to make infrastructure more simple for our customers and that means uh, re-engaging and re-architecting our software stacks from the ground up to be more nimble, more accessible via APIs uh, and other automation engines that, that will really drive more value and allow IT professionals to spend more time partnering with the business to drive revenue as opposed to uh, 
problem solving and, and uh, you know, punching out bugs. Yeah. David, that was one of the knocks that competition of you know EMC back in the day always ha had was, well, EMC has a broad portfolio and mm -hmm. leadership in many positions, but simple yeah. was never the word uh, <laughs> to describe uh, the, the offerings. Uh, how does Dell and Dell EMC, from a storage perspective, how will sure. we be looking at that differently um, you know, c come a year or two from now? I, I, so I think that's a fair point, it's a, it's a great point. Um, Simplicity was probably not a great synonym for what we did, but what we did was was accumulate a tremendous amount of intellectual property and assets that we've been able to mold and transform and adapt for the future. And what we're in the process of doing is making it simpler for customers to consume it and delivering it and deploying it in simpler ways to make the, to make it easier to choose and implement. Uh, and, and what we're in the process of doing is, is take the lessons of the past, integrate the technology from the past, uh, and, and drive something that's going to be easier to understand and, and to drive value. All right, help connect the dots. We're here at uh, one of mm -hmm. one of Dell's, uh, you know, larger partners. Uh, well, maybe not larger in size, but you know, very important partner. Sure. Winslow Technology Group was yeah. a Dell Partner of the Year for for a couple of years. What does that, you know, that simplification and you know, mm -hmm. uh, change in the portfolio mean? You know, and how how's the relationship changing yeah. uh, with, with the channel? Uh, so, uh, you know, very fair. The uh, the channel community is extremely important to Dell. Uh, and, and we know that we've not made their lives very easy. Right? They, have, they have sales engineers uh, and sales, sales professionals that are trying to deliver solutions and applications for customers, and it's hard for them to choose which building blocks or which piece parts to build. And by simplifying and putting together better, uh, better technologies and better intellectual properties that are easier for them to consume and understand, make it easier for them to do their jobs and, and, and deliver outcomes for their customers. Great. I want to you know, focus a little bit on, on the customers. You know, what, what do you see as some of the biggest challenges that, that they're facing in their business? You know, not not just from a storage standpoint, but uh, you know, on the business side. Uh, sure. Uh, well, every business, including our own, is a, it's a balance of priorities, right? Uh, you know, the customers know that they want to take their business forward. They want to drive growth. They want to drive profitability. And there are so many different opportunities to go after. And just how do you prioritize and 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 trying to manage those. Uh, discrete priorities and, and, and ideas and initiatives is, is not easy. And then implementing actions, especially within IT, to go solve some of those problems uh, is resource intensive, right? And so we need to do a better job of thinking about transformation and simplifying our structure to really, really get at that. All right, so you're an operations guy. You've, you, you've, you've got uh, you know, so some business background. Um, one of the things I, I look at in my career is, you know, boy, you know, we've looked at the pace of change, but you know, technology as an enabler for you know, how we change operations has been pretty amazing in the last, sure. last 20 years. I'm wondering if you have some ruminations on that as to you know, what you've been seeing in your career, and you know, especially over the last you know, five years or so. Yeah, the, the, the pace is confusing. It, it really is. Uh, you know, at times we feel like we're, we're moving at light speed, and other times we feel like we're at a crawl. Um, and I think the interesting aspect is it's, it's a journey and every customer is approaching it differently. And there are some customers that are in the bleeding edge and looking for us to keep them on the bleeding edge. Uh, and there are other customers that are, that are more, um, more steady in their operations and looking to uh, take baby steps as, as they transform. And, and it's been a really interesting challenge trying to solve and, and, and maximize outcomes for both those types of uh, customers. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'd say it's usually it's it's dizzying, and you need <laughs> to be careful. One of my favorite Ben Franklin lines is, you know, d don't confuse activity with with progress, sure. uh, because it's it's easy to chase the new shiny, um, but you know, what am I actually doing to drive the business and drive efficiency right. of what we're doing? And, and can I actually get any value out of the new shiny? There are so many buzzwords that we have in our industry right now, some of which customers consume can consume really easily and get a tremendous amount of value. Uh, some that customers just are having a hard time understanding how they actually implement to get value. So. Yeah. So you know, what what what's the biggest threat for for, for businesses these days? You, you talk about them going through transformation. There, there's everybody's concerned about you know to oh, the overused term. You're going to be Uberized or Netflixed <laughs> or you know choose your point. You know, how do you balance? I need to transform and move faster, but you know, I I, I don't want to be you know chasing my shadow. Uh, yeah, I think I think the person that had the perfect answer to that would would be, would be amazingly wealthy right now. I, I think. You know, that's the dichotomy that we're, we're trying to deal with and the industry has dealt with for a very, very long time. <laughs> Uh, great point. Uh, you know, we, we talked about it's not always about chasing the technology. What, what's interesting you in the marketplace these days? 
Uh, it's a, uh, I, I think the, the pace of change and the pace of innovation has really kicked up. It goes through cycles, and, and right now the, the new technologies that are getting introduced by a lot of startup communities and, 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 and ourselves uh, organically uh, has been amazing. And, and I, I love the innovative spirit that is coming back together as we formed uh, Dell EMC and the new, and the new company uh, and the collaboration that we're seeing with the intellectual property across the family of companies um, delivers really exciting results. All right, last thing I wanted to ask you, sure. uh, really about, about the merger, you know, personally, mm -hmm. you've, you've been with, you, uh, from the EMC side of things, uh, you know, there are many similarities in culture, but some significant differences uh, bet between these two cultures. You know, what, what could you share? Uh, you know, so everything changes, right? I think we learned a long time ago at EMC, and there's probably some acronym about change using the EMC letters. Uh, you need to be able to adapt to change, and, and both cultures were, were, very, were very much the same. Uh, the businesses are, are, are very, very interesting, and I like to think of them in, in a, an athletic metaphor, right? Uh, they're very different flywheels to the paces of, of, of the businesses. We have, we have a portion of our business that has a flywheel that spills really, really fast uh, and, and, very, and very transactional, and then we have another flywheel that uh, is solution-oriented and solution-driven, and it drives a different speed. And the miracle of the merger is we've been able to figure out how to operate both those flywheels at the same pace. Well, David Singer, definitely the, the customer flywheels keep a lot of things going, and the feedback from our users is one of the flywheels that keeps us going here at theCUBE. So be sure to check out all of the content, and as always, you can reach us, hitting us up on the website, hitting us up on social media, and uh, welcome your feedback. So thank you so much for watching theCUBE.